Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another Abacus tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Abacus to solve some dynamic problem, uh, especially uh, structural dynamic engineering. Uh, this is an example from a textbook for, of seismic design structure. Uh, example 3.2. 3 uh, here is the structure or a water tank and this water tank has a 30.35 meter height and a mass is lumped about 45.45 ton in the top of the structure. The structure is constructed from a hollow section which has about 1.1 meter diameter in inner outer diameter and 0.85 inner diameter. So the when we uh, make uh, subtract of these two and then it will become the thickness of that all of section the material is concrete giving a concrete uh, 2.5 uh, uh, or 2000 25,000 megapascal and so here's an calculation and it reached to 0 0.9 hertz or cycle per second we want to model this in Abacus and, and we should reach to this number. If K, in case, if we couldn't reach, so there is a problem and we want to verify our Abacus work with uh, hand calculation. So now we go to the here in Abacus. Uh, we want to create a, a model and I can call it water tank using wire element in 8000 and Taking the line and giving zero, zero first point and the second point is zero thirteen uh, thirteen thousand five hundred. So okay and uh, uh, this is just one line and we go to the property. Uh, in the property you can define just that elastic is also okay, uh, but uh, in case if you want to take another structure that you should you have to um, if you don't uh, apply mass so then you have to apply density because the program will de determine the mass based on the, the density you give so and now just I will give I, I won't give this mass because I will define the mass on the top of the node so the, I do not allow the program should calculate for me now i can call it 2.5 e uh, 4 for the young modulus and 0 0.2 for the Poisson ratio uh, this Poisson ratio don't have effect on the model analysis so we have this one and remember for those structure you will not give the density the mass you should give you should give the density now i will receive a warning so they will the program will tell me that the mass is not calculated from the old structure. So my problem is to calculate the uh, lumped mass, not the structure mass. Now, okay, I'm going to define the pipe, which is all of section, I can call pipe. And uh, the diameter is 1,100 millimeters, so it's become 505 diameter. So now 0.85, uh, meter is the inner diameter so when we do become minus it become two zero point two five so that's zero point two five divided by two because you're using diameter so one hundred fifty millimeter thickness now we created this one and we're gonna define a section called pipe section or column now using uh, beam element and we want to assign this to structure now assign and here it's so I want to view to see what it looks like so I'm going to using a rendering yeah it, it needs require a uh, orientation because beam element needed orientation so now it looks like this so the next thing is I'm going to assembly and bring this in assembly part here and go to the step and define a step called frequency frequency analysis so i can request three maximum because one thing single degree of freedom is three uh, maximum three mode so it's okay 
and if you give more so you will not receive you should remember that point interaction and defining the mass on the top of the stack it is called spatial and i can create called mass and here this mass i can give a isotropic or uh, anisotropic in case but uh, but i give uh, but you can check any of them is okay even you can give in a direction one direction two direction three that means you have a mass in this top of the structure so this is okay I'm going to okay this one as well and going to the load i quickly define a boundary condition and you can do both okay in initial and the second part so i'm going to fix and all rotation and time and the, uh, displacement and the thick the last one is going to define a mesh and you can give as much as you want that mesh doesn't affect with the model analysis remember it. now we can go to that job and create a job called frequency frequency and going to submit It take a while to finish and just uh, maybe about now you can uh, see in the monitor you will uh, receive a warning about the uh, uh, zero density uh, yes you call zero density because we didn't define here yeah it is finished now we're gonna go to resolve and we want to see yes here is the result here is the first move shape and the frequency is 0 0.88 so if you do a round off and you will get exactly 0 0.9 and this is 100% uh, accurate uh, with a hand calculation and so now we can go to the second mode and the second mode is same and last so this was the uh, frequency analysis and also uh, confirming uh, and verifying with handy calculation if you have any question and please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you and see you next time